spend some time in the kitchen this month of August. We've been going through the ABCs of cooking and since it is day five, Anel's going to go through with us. We're focusing on the letter E today. Yes, mm. yes. So what is the first term in terms of cooking? The first term is emulsion. Emulsion. Mm. And the other one that we're going to do is en papillon. En papillon. It's like very e. French. <laughs> yeah, with an E. But the okay. emulsion is when you combine two ingredients that don't naturally combine. It's like me and my husband actually. <laughs> Something like that. It's probably okay. just a love that combines. But we're going to use, say, you take lemon juice and oil. Don't normally combine. Okay. So you need a binding agent, like a glue that keeps these two ingredients together. And here we're using an egg. Okay. And so then you, other yeah. things that also don't combine, for example, is um, not oil, uh, oil. Yes, vinegar and oil. Vinegar and oil. Vinegar and oil. And then what you use for that one is again a bit of mustard. Okay. You know. So so this is the mayonnaise, and then you just drip it slowly. Little bit, but little bits by little bits. But as I said before we started here, we need a lot of grease, um, arm grease. And you and it's me, you put arm like me. So I'm not going to do the whole chadunta. Okay, We've but the already... idea is to get yes. to this consistency. But you see that it, that the egg has combined now, pulled, glued, the vine sorry, the lemon juice and the oil together. And that forms an emulsion, emulsion. eventually. And that is your mayonnaise. Okay, so that was our first yeah. term for this morning. And you said the second one is on papillon. You've got it right, on papillon. <laughs> On papillon. Yeah, on papillon. What the hell is on papillon? <laughs> <laughs> on papillon is a French cooking technique where you cook something in a little pocket okay. or a parcel or parch parchment. And what you do is you take a piece of grease proof paper and what I like to do, I cut it in like a type of a heart. Can you have a for my hold Yeah. I just want to show you the people. It's like a rough heart. <laughs> so it's like kindergarten, ne? Eh? I'm yes. sure it's okay. okay. And when you do that, then what you do, you put your piece of um, uh, your fish in here or your vegetables in here, and you add a bit of stock or wine. You close it like that, and then you fold it and seal it. Okay, so this technique will then make the food steam in the pocket. Yes, it steams in the pocket and keeps all the flavors. I had a wonderful dish in Stellenbosch, and they took mussels with lemongrass and a bit of coconut milk, and they put it in a pocket like this, and they baked it in the oven for a few minutes. It was absolutely divine. Okay, yeah. so when you say a little pocket, can you do it with, uh, you, I mean, we're using grease-free yes. uh, paper here. Yeah. Can we use plastic or anything that can? No, 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 no. The plastic or the rocks can bang for you. <laughs> <laughs> you use something like either grease pre paper or okay. you can use foil. And in other countries, they use banana leaves, and in Asia, they use like pandem leaves to do okay, that. But what's okay. nice about that? So, you mock my school What's nice about that? You bake this in the oven, and it's also about the presentation. You take it to the table, you give it to your friends, and then what they do, they break it open like that. Okay. And your whole, we've just got vegetables here, and you've got your whole little meal inside, inside the. Inside a little pocket. Inside a little pocket individually. And it steams beautifully, and you can add a bit of wine, a bit of stock. Yeah, it's just a very healthy and easy way. Well, thank you and so much. And plastic, you may see. No plastic, oh. indeed. Well, you know what you can do? <laughs> thank you so much, Anel, for showing us these two terms. But obviously, if you want to join the foodies this afternoon, I'm talking about Afternoon Express. You can join Bonnie, Bonang, Jeannie D, and Danilo, they'll be making the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. So head on over to their Facebook page. It is the Afternoon Express page. Like the page. Make sure you get all the Woolworths ingredients so that you can cook along with the Woolworth, well, with the Afternoon Express foodies. Well, now that we're done in the kitchen, Bailey, what are you getting up to?